Our planet has amazing surface features. Now, 30% of the land is above the ocean surface, our continents, our land masses, and of that, about three quarters is composed of sedimentary rock, layers of sedimentary rock. So using the geologic principles of both Steno and Hutton and Lyle, and looking at the order and relative age of these rocks, we can figure out all about the environments and what formed them in the present and the past, which is due to uniform terrorism. Thank you, Mr. Hutton. But our planet is a constant cycle of depositing sediments in different areas, different environments, different sizes, different textures, different compositions of minerals, and also periods of time where there is no deposition, there is no new rock or new sediments being laid down, being accumulated, and there's a period of destruction rather than construction, where the destruction is weathering and erosion. The land mass is being weathered and eroded, and new features are being formed, and this can be seen inside the rock layers underground. This is the Earth Science Classroom. And unconformity is that period of time, that break of deposition where you have a hiatus or an interval of time where there is erosion and weathering occurring on that surface in that location. And as time goes on, the rock layers are buried and new rock is deposited. The unconformity is stored or staged or placed at a certain depth in the rock layers and this gives us an idea of what happened during that time to create that unconformity. For example, if you're looking at the Grand Canyon, the Canyon Wall, which is a magnificent geological site of layered sedimentary rocks with basement, metamorphic and some igneous by the river, the Colorado. But you have this amazing wall where you have these layers and you see these unconformities, these layers or this point in the rocks layers where there is a break or hiatus or an interval in the deposition process. And we could see this because of the different ages of the rock, usually through fossils and fossil analysis. We can figure out the different age in the rocks and figure out that there is a period of time that is missing. There could be a short time of thousands of years, or it could be a long time in tens or hundreds of millions of years of time where there was no deposition, there was just weathering and erosion. During this time of unconformity on the rocks, you have the surface rock being exposed to the elements, to the change of climate, to the change of sea level, to the change of glacial periods, interglacial glacial periods, the change of melancholic cycles, and also uplift, where the surface of this rock being sedimentary is being weathered and eroded over a period of time. Now, this is usually in thousands and ten thousands and millions of years to have an eroded and changed landscape, where some fluvial processes and fluvial action or agents, erosional agents, are removing the weathered material from that location, creating amazing landscape like we find in the American Southwest with the national parks like the Grand Canyon National Park, Bryce and Zion National Parks. So the process of uplift where the surface of the earth is pushed up through tectonic forces, through orogeny, is where you have the lifting of the surface of the earth up higher to be exposed to the elements and therefore continue the erosional processes. And this period is the unconformity. It could be thousands of years, millions of years, and once you have a change whereby deposition occurs again or is reinstated in that area, most likely with a body of water that is on the surface of the earth, then you'll have new sediment accumulation and that unconformity will then be buried between different layers of rock of different ages. And when you dig through the ground and see these unconformities, you can then figure out how long that un unconformity lasted for based on the immediate above and immediate below rock layers relative age. And that is usually figured out or calculated 
using fossil records and index fossils. Here we have a diagram just showing you this darker bluish color, which is the unconformity. That is the layer that was eroded and weathered. And then the subsequent future deposition of new sediment was then laid down in the horizontal process. And subsequent later rocks were then added above. But this unconformity is now buried at a certain depth within the crust. And this can give indications to scientists of what happened during that time period in Earth's history at that location. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth science.